I remember somebody mentioning on the Joe Rogan sub, no, on the Fire and the Kids subreddit probably, somebody mentioned that Joe Rogan had a TRX. And I honestly had no idea he had one. I didn't hear him mention it. I remember him mentioning he had a, a Raptor, right? Uh, the, the Ford F-150. I remember him mentioning he's got Porsches and whatever else, and he's got a Tesla. But I never heard him say he had a, a TRX. I remember him saying he had a Ford F-150, but not TRX. So I was surprised when someone said the TRX. And I honestly thought they were confusing the TRX for the Raptor. Big up Stinger Guru. Appreciate you, brother. The key to happiness is a TRX. Exactly. You know, you know. We're talking about that right now. Big up you, Stinger Guru. Thank you for the super chat, brother. Um, I thought that person was confusing the TRX for the Raptor, but I guess they wasn't. They actually knew that Rogan had a TRX because he mentioned it, and he mentioned it again with The Rock. So this is making me think, and everybody else out there, maybe this is why Brendan got the fucking TRX in the first place. Because to me, it seemed kind of out of the blue. Maybe you're not believing this, but... So far, we've seen Brendan be infatuated with Porsches because obviously Rogan loves Porsches and then getting into his Ferraris and whatnot and all those kind of five cars. I just assumed the next progression up for, for Brendan would be a fucking Lambo. I honestly thought he'd get a Lambo next or something, right? Or Bugatti or something. I never thought he'd go the, the pickup truck route because apart from his Bronco that he had and that old pickup truck, the one that he allegedly asked them, and lead him to walk the truck with, right? It didn't seem like he kind of liked to drive them as an everyday driver. So I was surprised why he suddenly was pivoting into it. But then I thought to myself, maybe Brendan is getting into the pickup trucks thing because he's now doing this whole, like, he's kind of playing soft with the whole right wing thing. He's trying to, di he's trying to like dip his toes into the right wing grift, but he's also not, he doesn't have big balls enough to really dig in deep in that, right? And be like, you know, anti-immigration and all the fucking talking points those right wing guys get he couldn't handle the blowback from that stuff so he's not he's not he's too pussy to really go in on the right wing grift so he does a lot of like right wing cosplaying right larping where he has a he has a trucker hat he's doing the mullet thing he's trying to pretend like he's into country he kept repeating that line not in my town not in my town he does a trump 2020 stuff but he doesn't actually say anything about right wing you know what i mean he doesn't really talk about politics he doesn't speak he doesn't say he, he voted republican he doesn't really want to go that far he's a bit too scared to really push that far so that's why I thought the pickup truck was a good way to get around it because it's kind of like him being working class, um, middle class, the whole Texas thing, Austin, pickup truck, blah, 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 right? Um, so that's where I thought that pickup truck came from. But this clip is maybe showing us that actually the pickup truck thing isn't a right wing grift and it's just him sucking Joe Rogan's dick. And this for me is really embarrassing, really embarrassing. A grown man copying everything another grown man does especially when they're your friend is beyond cringy this already would be cringe if you're a regular person because i'm sure there are regular guys out there i'm sure you guys know them there's regular guys who love rogan and dress like him i bet they exist regular bold guys who have the same type of tattoos and wear fucking 10th planet jujitsu t-shirts and black rifle t-shirts and what's that brand that brand that Rogan likes, the hunting brand. There's a really cool hunting brand that's really expensive. Um, I think, it, I think uh, you know, it's made by a hunter guy. I think it might be Japanese or I don't know what it is, but it's a really high-tech hunting brand and they make really expensive camouflage jackets and shit, right? Yeah, that's it, Hoyt. That's it, JT, Hoyt. I bet you there's guys out there who love wearing Hoyt clothing, um, who drive certain trucks and who copy Rogan, regular dudes. I think there's something quite admirable about a regular guy maybe seeing Rogan as like male goals and wanting to copy him Some, a bit. It's a bit cringe still, but a bit. But if you're Rogan's friend, if you're Rogan's friend, this is really cringe because Brendan is Rogan's friend. He's got, he's got his number in his phone. He can text him, you know, like doing this is gross, but this is Rogan talking about his TRX. Mm -hmm. The Raptor. Oh yeah, I love him. I have a TRX. That thing's yeah, the shit. It's a badass, isn't that it? That thing's the shit. Uh, mine is a Hennessy, so it's a thousand horsepower. You got <laughs> it's, it's fucking it's a thousand horsepower because it's seven hundred. By the way, who makes a TRX? Who's the car manufacturer? Like, who actually makes it? Because I always heard of F one fifties being the main pickup truck, and I only heard of TRXs recently. So, oh, it's Dodge. So who would you say 
what's better in terms of the pickup truck um, competition? What's better if you're a pickup truck guy? Would you take a Dodge over a Ford F-150? What would you prefer? Because Ford F-150 is obviously the most popular one, isn't it, right? They're the ones that are the most highest selling. What people prefer with Ford instead of them? Dodge, uh, Fiat, Raptor is a queer bait truck. <laughs> They're sort of the same. Okay, cool. But the Dodge is only good for their Cummings engine. I'd say Dodge over Ford. That shit expensive. Why? Okay, cool. It's it's just preference if you're paying for the best. Okay, cool. I'd literally build it for 50. Okay, cool. So it's just preference. It's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Yeah. What kind of wheels and tires you put? Oh, the Hennessy puts them on. It's all he does like a whole suspension change and okay. brake, he upgrades the brakes and yeah, that's lowers the seat or heightens the seat. I think Hennessy is Hennessy the same person that built um what's that car that Rogan's got? It's a really cool sports car. I think it's an old one. And there's a YouTube video of him talking about the car and he basically admits by, you know, accident or by just explaining what he did for Rogan, he basically mentions how he he basically rebuilt the entire car from the outside in and he basically lifted the car seat so it's a it's at a certain height because the Rogan's really short, so that he can be at like kind of like you know um, <laughs> he could be at a good height to see the road and just look super short. So Rogan's cars allegedly all of his cars he gets the seats customed, you know heightened and shit lifted up a little bit and put on the basically on the platform so that he's not so low because obviously he's a bit short. That's really funny, man. But yeah, that's a little edit he does, which makes sense if you got the money to do Rogan stuff, you should be able to do that. But I thought that detail was hilarious. That's, that's it? what mine looks like. Fuck. Yeah, that's not mine. Mine's black, but it looks exactly like that. To be fair, it does look fucking good, doesn't it? It looks fucking incredible. Let me take my picture, my uh, my camera off. Where is it? Not that one. There. Look at that. That does look really good, doesn't it? That looks really fucking good. That looks fucking aggressive as fuck. I actually like that. That like, is that kind of like a gun metal gray or something. I love that, and I also love the when it has like. I kind of like the pickup trucks when they have black rims instead of the silvers and stuff. I quite like it to be fair. I'm not gonna lie. I prefer it. It, looks, it makes it look a bit more aggressive, like really menacing, as opposed to like the the metal alloy, whatever that kind of color is. I quite like it when it's like black. Were you opening up that, that up? At? Not like, really. I don't really open it up. I just like that it can do it. Yeah, it's just fun that it can do <laughs> it. It can do it. Sounds hit this out. Hit this out. Hit this. Hit this. Hit this. Turn that <laughs> yes. thing on. Just... Haven't you heard Brendan say that? Brendan said is that the exact same phrase, right? It sounds like America. It sounds like America. Imagine, man. You have to be some. You, how can you not be embarrassed that your whole entire life is meant for copying Rogan? Like he probably loves this guy more than his own father, man. That's really gross, honestly. Sounds like America, yeah. It just sounds perfect. It's the best yeah. part, man, yeah. And if you're in Texas, I think you have to have a pickup truck. I think it's a law. <laughs> I, I'm wondering as well, did Brendan get the pickup truck thinking that he was going to move to Austin? That was part of the whole like thing to kind of get him, you know, to be closer to Joe. Because Joe's into pickup trucks, they could have something in common. Because that's also maybe another theory. Maybe Brendan noticed that they were drifting apart. They weren't as close as they were before. So one way to kind of make sure that they're still friends and you can text him, because I'm sure he still texts him his mod. Look, hey, Rogan, look, I got this done to my truck. It can maybe, it keeps a connection between them because they have something in common they can hold on to. <laughs> if you're a man and you're in Texas, you probably want to pick up truck. Dude, I used to live here in Texas. Where'd you yeah, live? Dallas. So yeah, Brendan might have copied might have copied might have copied might have copied drogan on his fucking pickup truck shit um oh yes it is so you guys did i tell you so i decided actually no let's actually go sorry before i finish that fucking car but i forgot to show this so i decided to google um rogan's cars he's actually got a really nice collection of cars isn't it i'm actually surprised that brendan didn't copy more of this rogan's actually got a really nice selection of cars so i found this article on this website called topspeed.com and it's got 10 uh it's got 10 of the craziest custom cars in rogan's car collection look at this he's got some really really nice cars i'm not gonna lie um he's got a tesla model s plaid which is one of my favorites this is this is definitely the car that i would want to be fair um it's especially the plaid they made it in this finish which is my favorite it's kind of like this like wine 
cranberry metallic-y finish it kind of looks like a dark raspberry-ish type of wine i don't know it's a really nice paint finish on the plaid so that looks fucking great the, of the tesla um it also features here that he's got a porsche 911 what is it porsche 911 made by i guess Sharkworks, right that's a garage rs let's, let's watch this a little bit let it load these are strange times when our parents were tuning cars they do an entire engine swap in order to go from 150 to 300 horsepower and brag about breaking into the 14s when i was a kid the ferrari f40's 475 horsepower might as well have been a million how could someone even control such a car yeah i'm so honestly i i'm not the only person that's surprised that brendan didn't get into more of this sort of stuff I'm just thought he just go into buying more Ferraris and Porsches. It really did surprise me when he made the pivot to the pickup truck thing. Because I just thought he'd just do this. Like what, what regular rich guys do. Just try and buy more rarer versions of the car you already have, you know? But maybe maybe this is too far of his price because this, this, particular, this particular Ferrari is like a million, isn't it? A million plus. So maybe he's not even that in that period. And now, with computer-controlled forced induction engines becoming the rule rather than the exception, we've seen an exponential growth in the kind of power available from even... What? Ryan Joseph says, PBD, I think you mean Patrick Bent David, said Rogan could sign a $1 billion deal for a 20-year podcast deal with Elon. 20-year deal sounds a bit excessive, but I think Rogan's in that space where he can, he can, he's probably the only person, maybe him and Cooler Daddy, like podcasts that actually do numbers like and maybe some maybe some on the ringer and stuff right there's not a lot of podcasts that people actually listen to on the daily basis like maybe the new york times has got that podcast that always appears i forgot what it's called i think it's called the daily or something but there's not a lot of pods that get those type of numbers especially nowadays where there's a little bit, bit more fatigue i think rogan can really 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 write his own paycheck dude Assad, yes they do go on i haven't i didn't cover it on a stream but go on um what's that girl's name that does it what's her name uh is it it's not alex is it alex i think her name is alex but anyway the host of cooler daddy she recently did a live show in new york if you check out the cooler daddy maybe it's a, the pod the instagram or her instagram alex cooper honestly the crowd that was at that cooler daddy show insane insane she sold that bitch out from war to war it was just women screaming like cooler daddy's a big deal like she actually does numbers and think about it like she does numbers without really being that good of a podcast it's kind of a little bit of the same shit over and over again right really in terms of guests and topics or whatever but she is huge like she's huge she's real like that live show footage i saw online was real even light tuning and thanks to the internet where everyone is an expert the answer to how much horsepower should a car have is always more when you combine turbocharging with the endless pursuit of power, sometimes things go boom in a very bad way. Call me crazy, but I love Actually, old school hot rod heads. I want to So I want to. I want to see, see the car. Wait, not. Where is uh, it? Nine. Ho oh, ho ho! Come on, Rogan has good taste in cars. He may not be a car guy, but he has good taste in cars. That's a good. That's a good collection. I'd be happy with that. This Tesla model, um, this Tesla Model S, in the plaid version, and this nine nine, this nine eleven GTR. Three, come on, bro! Look at this, bro. This looks fucking beautiful. This is a two thousand seven uh, nine nine seven Mark One GT three that uh, I sent to Alex Ross, uh, Shark Works up in Northern California, and they uh, converted it to a three point nine liter. 502 horsepower it's just the greatest car i've ever i'm sure in the car this is probably what i'm thinking now watching this if you're a real car guy you probably look you probably look down on guys like brent brogan in it right who are able just to kind of you know give the car give people like shark works a credit card and say, I want my car to look like this. You probably look down on them a little bit, innit? Because they, it's the easy way. You just go straight from a stock car to a Sharkworks car in a heartbeat. Or sometimes you don't even see the car in stock. It just goes from the fucking manufacturer to Sharkworks and they do it. Or maybe Sharkworks even give you the car already made. Maybe there is a, yeah, exactly, no effort required. If you're a real car guy, it's like, come on, man. You didn't do anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> 
I see, I see. Wrong in my life, without a doubt. I've had a bunch of different sports cars. The first one I had, when I first started getting some money, I got a super. Anyway, let's scroll down. He's got that car. He's also got a Gunther, a Gunther Works 911. Oh my God. Yo, that's beautiful. Holy shit. Rogan's got a really good collection of cars, bro. Let's not be, let's not, let's not like, let's not, you know, let's not lie. Fucking hell, look at that. That's like a fucking beast. Then he's also got, uh, so this is, hold on. Did Brendan copy Rogan's love for Porsches? Because Rogan looks like he actually likes Porsches, for real. He's got Porsches from, you know, different years and stuff, done differently. Did Brendan's love of Porsches come from Rogan as well? He says, I've always been a Porsche guy. My family's been a Porsche guy. Oh my God. He's so shameless. Utterly shameless, man. Anyway, let's scroll down. Another one. Oh, look. Ford Raptor Hennessy. And Hennessy is what? It's a, it's a garage as well, right? Uh, Hennessy Performance. What's it called? Uh, 2021 what is that i'm not seeing what, what's that look like what is a 421 let's see velicopter oh okay cool it's what he showed in the fucking in the video that we saw right that is kind of good as well doesn't it wow <laughs> that looks pretty sexy doesn't it i'm not gonna lie that looks pretty good that looks pretty good Damn, son. Anyway, scrolling on, he's also got a 1971 Ford Bronco. Is this the same one that OJ drove? Was that is that the OJ one? Did OJ drive a 71 Bronco, or is it or is it later? That's really beautiful, though. Isn't it? I love the boxy design of it. I love how high off the floor it is as well. That's a really lovely car. Um, and he's also got a 1994. Oh, he's got a Toyota Land Cruiser. Wow. I love that. 994 Toyota Land Cruiser. And he's got a Corvette Stingray. Hey, I think this is the guy. This might be the guy that did the, sh the car that he littered the seat. That Corvette Stingray is really beautiful too. And he's also got a Corvette Nova. And lastly, he's got one of these ones, a Plymouth Barracuda. Wow, look at that. That's a fucking... Is that the same car that the guy in um that John Wick drives, right? Keanu Reeves. Is it a Barracuda as well? Do you guys know? Is, is, is that the same car? Is that the John Wick car? It looks like it. That's fucking no. Rogan's got really good taste in cars, man. Let's not lie. Rogan's got really good taste in cars. So big up Rogan for having good taste in cars.